today I am showing you three of my favorite core exercises that I'm going to advance with some resistance bands to make them harder. Now the first one I'm going to do is a four point arm and leg raise or a bird dog. Now traditionally the bird dog is one arm one leg, okay, I'm going to advance that by putting on resistance. Now you have to be good at your core stability before you do this, okay, so this is only for advancing it. So I put one hand in the loop. Now this is just a TheraBand. You can use a power band, but it has to be a skinny one, otherwise it's just too much resistance. So I'm gonna start back in my four point position, find my neutral spine, okay? Go into a bit of protraction, externally rotate the elbows. Now from here, I'm going to at the same time, extend my arm and extend my leg, okay? Now, the trick is to start with, you need to be able to hold this position. So I need to straighten my arm, straighten my elbow, make a fist, keep that straight, and then just let it pull it back a little bit. And then I'm gonna push my heel to the wall, okay? So I'm gonna really try and get this high, get this high without arching my back. So I'm really gonna turn on my core, that's a static hold, okay, and come back. So about a 10 second hold, all right? So what I don't want you see doing is when you come up, it's arching your back. So you've really got to make sure you maintain neutral and keep that core on. So remember, this is about core stability, but this is a control exercise. So you're trying to get the core and the back controlling the spine, okay? So it's a static core control. So as I extend, the load goes on, my glute power goes on here, and my arm power goes on here. I need that cross sling. You can see I'm breathing, but it's a bit hard. The posterior cross sling to be working and really push my heel to the floor, really push this hand forward and then come back, okay? That's quite hard for the upper arm, quite hard for the glute, but that's fantastic. So it's really good strengthening work around the core. So it's gonna increase your core strength because you're trying to increase muscle strength around it, that cross sling through it, but also it's the ability for the core to stay stable and stay controlled when you put load on through the big power joints, the ball and sockets, okay? So really important, and then obviously just swap sides. Now that's your first one. The second one, my second favorite, which is, well, there's two favorites. First favorite is arm and leg raise, the second favorite is a side plank, and that's probably my most favorite of all of them. So what you do with a side plank is a little bit harder band, so you go to your power band. Now traditionally, I love doing side planks on my knees, I just think it's way more effective for your glute. So what you do, and you put resistance on a side plank, do it like this. So put it in around your hips, okay? Go into your side plank position with already a bit of resistance pulling backwards, okay? So I'm gonna go set myself up for your side plank into this position, grab onto my shoulder, protect it, pull my shoulders back and thrust forward. Now you can see at this point, I'm doing a normal side plank, but there's a big pull resistance pulling me backwards. So I have to work way harder on my glutes. So it's a fantastic glute exercise for this. But remember, I'm actually working really hard here and stabilizing my shoulders. So the work rate increases in my lateral side. So my obliques and my QL increase the work rate. And I have to keep those glutes on. So I'm teaching my body to try and maintain a stable, strong position with my glutes on and I'm getting some glute strength. So this is awesome for increasing the resistance and advancing a side plank on your knees. Fantastic exercise. Now that's a static load. Now what you can do after both those two is do repetitions. So if you are really good at the stability of both those two exercises, what you can do now is you can add on repetitions, okay? Now, you have to be confident, make sure you're very stable through here. So you can't do this if you're moving too much. Remember, the spine has to stay stable under low. So if I go to my four point arm leg raise with resistance, get my spine in neutral, I'm gonna extend both arm leg and come back. Okay, so I've really got to work hard in my anterior core to make sure I don't extend my lower back. So I don't want to arch my lower back or curve it when I move like that. Okay, so when I use my glute, when I use my upper arm, I don't want to extend my back. Okay, there might be a little bit of movement, but you've got to try and reduce as much movement as you can in that position. Okay, so same rules for your side plank. You have to be stable in the core if you're going to do 
repetition sets of this. So if I come back into here, get into my side plank position, set up into there, I thrust forward and then sit. Now the crucial thing is you don't lose that bit. Okay, so you've got to be there, thrust forward, go back in the same plane, thrust forward and out. What I do is not sit down. Okay, so it's just like a squat or a deadlift hip hinge position. It's basically what it is. It's like a side bridge. And so this is really caning me through here now. I'm still maintaining a neutral spine. My spine, my lower back, is not moving out of position. The only thing that's pivoting is my hip hinge. Whew, okay, so that's the side thing. Now, the third one is doing a plank. Oh, it's hot out here today. Doing a plank with resistance. Now, how do you do that? So, best thing to do to start with is add lateral resistance. So, what I'm going to do is put this on my hips, same band, like this. And then, what I'm going to do is go down into a plank. Okay, now I've got to do a static hold of this. Remember, remember all your rules about the plank straight knees, glutes on, push away. Okay, keep that spine in neutral. This is really trying to pull me in. So, I have to work heaps hard here really really hard on this side so I'm actually getting a little bit of side plank with my front plank okay so it's really good exercise you see I'm shaking a little bit here because I'm a bit fatigued so this is really good and obviously then just flip it around and do it the other way now you're probably not going to last as long in that position with resistance and so maybe halve it to start with build it up see you next time